Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of area and perimeter. This is standard 4.5D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 30 of the 2018 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a model that represents Norman's rectangular backyard garden here. And then Norman will plant carrots right here in this rectangular section that's labeled carrots. So we need to find the area in square feet of the section where Norman will plant the carrots. So we're actually looking for the area of this section right here. And it looks like we have a rectangle and it looks like it has no dimensions labeled for us. Now we actually can find some dimensions, but we need to make sure we know that the area is the inside. We're looking for the inside of this rectangle. The perimeter is the outside, so we're not necessarily looking at that. So two clues to let us know that we are dealing with the uh, area. First is we know that a, area should be the inside, but secondly, if we were confused, we've also got in all of our answer choices the word square. And remember in third grade when we would look at area, we would have these little squares, and we would need to count the squares, and that's how we kind of got introduced to area. So anything with squares, we know, oh, that's going to be area, that's going to be dealing with the inside. So that's just an, another way to figure that out. So we need to find this rectangle but we need some dimensions because area is pretty simple to find length times width whenever you see two different letters next to each other and there's no operation that means it's going to be multiplying we can represent that by a dot or we can represent that by just some parentheses multiplication gets represented a lot of different ways as you get bigger you realize that you multiply a lot but how do we find the length and the width? Well, let's deal with this length. That's going to be a little bit easier right here. So we don't have this labeled. We don't have this label. But since we know it is a rectangle, that means we know we've got square corners. We know that the sides are perpendicular to each other. And we do know this side length right here. And if this side length is 14 and we know it's a rectangle, it's not slanted, it's not some weird type of quadrilateral, then we also know that this side length is 14 feet, and we know that this side length is 14 feet. So we can use this outside one right here to figure that out. So we, we've got one of our measurements here, 14 feet, but we need to figure out what that width is. Now, what we could do is we can say, well, if the entire top from side to side is going to be 30 feet. But then the bottom all the way up to the carrots is 24 feet. This almost looks like a, look at this, part, part, hole. Well, we know how to do a part, part, hole. So we've got our 30, and we've got our 24, and really we're just looking for that little chunk right there. So we can either uh, subtract 30 minus 24, we could add up 24 plus what? But I think once we see it that way, we see, oh, that's going to be 6 feet. That's pretty easy because you need this 24 plus 6 to make this 30. So there we go. Now we have our dimensions, 14 times 6. They made us do a little bit of work. So let's just go ahead and multiply 14 times 6. And I'm going to multiply two different ways. I'm going to go ahead and do the standard algorithm first. And I'll also show you how to do partial products. So... 4 times 6 is 24, so we put the 4 there, we carry the 2, or you can do 4 times 6 is 24, that's partial products. And now we look at 6 times this 1, and that's a 6, add that 2 is 8, or you can say 6 times that 1, but we just have to know it's really a 10, so 6 times 10 is 60. If you add this up, you see either way, you're going to get 84 and then it's going to be square feet because we're dealing with little squares. So our answer here is going to be J.